Good afternoon, gamers. Stone the Gamer here with another exciting episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we went to go check out the abandoned house with a Vigilant of Stendar, the Daedric Prince of Domination, Moloch Bao, forced us to kill him before trapping us himself. Um, he wants us to go rescue a priest of Boethia and bring him back to so he can harvest his soul as he will force him to pledge allegiance, not to Boethia, but to Malak Bao himself. Um, and we also got to the bottom of what was going on in the Force War, and ran, we ran to Nepos the Nose, that has let us know that the King of Rags, Madanok, is not dead, but he is in fact jailed in Sidnamime. We ended up getting um, framed for Eltris's murder, along with all of the other murders that have gone down in the city since I have arrived. And we are now in Sydney Mine ourselves. That is why we are back in rags. But I don't think we'll be a prisoner for too long. They say no one escapes Sydney the Mind. Um, let's see how well that theory holds up. Um, but let's get going and see what's going on with all these people. They look bored. <laughs> they really do. Okay, let's. Where's the stairs? Yeah, we're not going to jump down and be super cool just yet. We're going to keep our cards to ourselves. Hello? Who are you? Talk to me. What are you in for? Nothing. We're going to say nothing. I'm innocent. Innocent? So was I, for the first one. The other murdered were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of spuma. That won't be happening. Uh, where's Madanak? Let's get right down to you're it. Asking. That means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out for good. No one talks to Madanak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borko the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borko the Beast. I kind of think I want to. Let's see here. Borko the Beast? Question marks. Madanak's guard. Big. Even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Alright. What are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me. I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. That's goofy. Alright. And let's see. Uh, All right. So we're supposed to talk to you. Uh, so I guess we will. I'm going to grab this pickaxe since we don't have any of our... Yeah, we just have this. We don't have any of the stuff we had before. So I'm going to grab these for some, some dual-wielding pickaxing. Pickaxing. Wow. Okay. The new meat. So soft. Tender. Ha! What was it like killing your first one, huh? Let's see. I'm not a murderer. I mean, we are, so... But we're not really heavy of guilt, either. We're just gonna lie. I'm not a murderer. Liar. I need to see Madnak. You wanna talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one. But it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> All right, we don't have a shiv. Um, he's not going to listen to us if we think that he's inspecting. He's really not. Uh, and I don't really think that we can take him in a fight only because we don't have a lot of health. And he is called the beast for a reason. He has a lot of health, so we're going to say I don't have a shiv. Then find one. That dung heap grizzbar has been known to make a few. All right, let's go see our new best friend, Grizzval. Let's see if we can actually get this mission put on our list, since we are in here for life now. Okay, so we need to go find some guys. And while I'm in here, I am going to um, edit out all of the silver ore mining, since there is so much of it. So actually, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we are back from uh, doing that vein, that one vein. And we're actually right next to Grizzvar, so let's talk to Grizzvar the Unlucky. I swear, if I ever get out of here, I'm giving up thieving. Really? Yeah, okay, that's all fine. I need a shiv. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Oh, you're Minus such a fiend. Moon sugar. Fiends! Thinking, just thinking about it. Fiend! For shame. I'll get it for you. Thank Don't you. care. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. Oh, you better. That's just ridiculous. Where are you in for, though? The first time, thieving. The second time, 
It's thieving. Third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. I'll just stop thieving. First it was six months, then a year, then two years. Now I'm in for life. What a waste of time. What a waste of time you've been wasting. It's all right, baby. Come on. I was sent here because someone said I was a forsworn. Uh, are you one or not? Seems like you are now. You don't, you don't deny it. Alright. You're, you're not the guy I need to talk to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine this real quick. I'll be back. Alright, let's see. There might be some more in here. Let me check. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. Nah, I have magic. I'll blow you apart. Um, be careful. You be careful. We all saw it was you. Who needs to be careful? Okay. So, looks like they, whoever I'm looking for is this way. And I am going to be back once again since there are there is some ore in here. I'm just going to take care of it really fast. All right, and we are back once again. Well, we already have nine, so we'll be able to transmute all that, and plus the iron that we have too. Um, let's see here. I'm going to wait to do all the other. <laughs> or it's a little ridiculous. Are you the one? Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. All right, here you have some skooma. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That scuba's mine. But I need a man, come on. Come on, please. I got these cheeseburgers, man. Got these cheeseburgers. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. What are you in for, though? I'm a forsworn. One of our raids went bad, and I got captured. Oh, so your booty. Would have been fine dying for the reach with my kinsmen. But the Silver Bloods want their all mine, so they threw me in. Sounds about right. Okay. And I'll be back once again for all this ore that's in here. Alright, guys, and we are back. I believe we have mined everything that we can. So let's go back to this orc guy. I forgot his name. Bra Borkle the Beast. You serve your time let's give him his skooma. Actually, never mind. Let's so give Grisval his skooma. And then let's give a we I have a jerk. Use your ship. Promise you won't ever use it on me. Okay. There's no promises ever. All right. Let's see. What's the ship do? Eight. They both do eight. So I'm gonna keep these pickaxes. Looks pretty. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's put him away. What? What's going on, buddy? Ready to pay the toll? One ship. You're a shiv. Here's your shiv. All right, head on in, but don't try anything in there. Madanak is smarter than you. Think. I have lightning hands, so I'll just zap his smarts away. What are you in for? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. You look like a lollygagger. Until next time. Until next time, you beast. You big lipped beast. All right. You have nothing. Why, why, why have a chest for nothing? You're in jail. He's not going to get more stuff. <laughs> All your food belongs to me now. I wish I had more hands. All right, and your gold. You're a punk. Look at you. I just took all your stuff. Didn't even well, say anything. Well, well, look at you. The Nords turn you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. Well, this it won't be too difficult to get out. Well, well. Really? Look you said the same thing. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? A little bit of both. Oh, my freedom, though. That's the first thing. Your freedom? Yes. But even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. That won't be what I'm remembered You're one for. Of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. Blah, blah, blah. I really don't need or want your help, but understand how. There's a man named Bragg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Well, no one is exactly, um arguing about that. We're arguing about what you're doing, but uh, we all know Markarth is terrible. I mean, they're the ones who put us in here. You tried to have me killed, but they, they're they the ones who put me in jail. But let's see, I want to know about Thonar. I had Markarth. 
My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Alright, I don't really have any questions about the Force, so I'm gonna go talk to, uh, Remember, Braid. It was, the Nords who locked you up. it was you who tried to have me killed. I, I hate when, when bad guys try to do that. Like, listen, I know I'm bad and I try to do you wrong, but these guys also did wrong. Be mad at them. Not gonna be mad at both of you equally. You can't shift the blame. Slate. Don't reach for a shiv around me, or we'll both. Why, why, why are you so defensive, oh, Matt? I've been here to hear about your story. Out with it. My story, huh? Everyone in Sydney Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? It wasn't Helgen. I was being sent to the executioner. Hmm, so you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, I won't start. Any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? Hmm. Well, I, I, well, Cork personally doesn't have any friends that he ha cares to talk about. He, he really only has Feindal now. But he's, yeah, he has friends. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modernak once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. You think your story justifies the murders the Forsworn have committed? I'm not Manadnak. I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Well, dang, that's not correct at all, but um, I am sorry to hear what happened to you, but I think, I think I've heard enough. All right, yeah, all right then. Um, yeah. It's, you know, you can't, you can't just do what you want just because someone has wronged you. I mean, what would the world be like if that's the way it went? How much blood would spill? You're a slave, just like us. And you're ugly, just like them. I'm beautiful. I'm freaking Korak. All right, I talked to Bragg. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. But the hills have eyes. In a second movie with eyes, too. I think that's it. You will help me escape, then. Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Well, I use magic that first. Bar the unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Well, I suppose it has to be done. All right. Remember, it was the note that locked you up. It was you who tried to kill me. Why do you have to keep bringing that up? You, you keep on talking about that? Is you're you're really boring. Okay. You serve your time by digging. So dig. Listen. Something's wrong with your face. Prison's not so it's bad. really stupid looking. Complaints when I kill people. Oh, buddy. I am very sorry to be doing this. This this part isn't even really necessary. I'm just going to do it just for fun. That's just for fun. And, uh, I don't really think you're going to put too much of a fight, so I'm just going to... Fireball! And our destruction went up. Yay! I'm sorry, Grisbar. Not really, but, you know, you had shifts. That's fine. Okay. Come on, Queen Fire boobies, let's go. 
Now, is it Madanok or Mad... Madden... Maddencock. Maddenrock. You remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. Grisvar is dead. And we are back, guys. Like I said, I... At once... At least once... Well, it's always just once while I'm, uh... Recording that... My, my whole game's just like, yeah, no, 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 no. You... You've clearly done enough. All right, but yeah, let's continue. Grisvar is dead, and um, he really didn't put too much of a fight. You made me kill a helpless old man, but you whatever. Finally, become one of us. I mean, come with me. That's all it takes. Time I announced my plans to you and your new brother. Well, your plan's really boring, and uh, you're old, and I know I can take you. So, yeah, run away. That's what I thought. Wow, that's some flame clipping. I, clipping. I do apologize about that. That was terrible. Okay. What's going on, Madinok? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on meeting him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Marka, into the city. But what do you say, my brothers? The Reach belongs to the Force Wall. I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. Of course I have. I was never meant to be here in the first place, but I'm ready. Let's do this. Into the tunnel. Let's go. You're in the, you're in, you're in the tunnel. Shut up. You run slow. Like, I could have killed you and, and come through here easily, but I didn't. Let's get out of here. Now, it's going to be a little hard to get through here since there are enemies and we only have our magic. Um, and they're just out of my way. You have to be really careful only because you're just as likely to hit them with your uh, spells and stuff as, as you are to hit the guys you're trying to fight. Because there are some stuff then. I think some maybe like some dwarven spiders and uh, maybe the cylinder guys and, and stuff like that. But you have to be really careful because they... Um, that you're, that you're just as likely to hit the, the people you're escaping with. And they will turn on you if you do, because they're just that stupid. All right, but at least, we'll, at least we'll have a chance to increase our skills. But like I said, we've got to be really careful not to hit them, because they will take it the wrong way, and they won't stop attacking you. As you can see, something's happening, because they just sprinted off. Never should have come here. Never should have come here. Alright, got some more venom. And you guys are in a hurry. Wow. Alright. Come on, bro. Bur Burkle. Come on, Burkle. Watch out, buddy. Scorching. We already have fire damage, but we're going to take that only because it's way better than um what we are, what we currently have, and we'll be able to uh, use some archery now too. And as you can see, some really nice stuff here, some silver ingots. Uh, that's good to get. I don't think there's really anything else. Yeah, that's downstairs. I believe that's all there is. But I am going to give a quick sweep because that's just what I do. <laughs> Always want to be certain of everything. Can't help myself. Five seconds wasted. Ten seconds wasted. Let's go. Let's catch up. now. Now? I announced to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. 
Okay. It will take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn. It doesn't look like you have that much time. We will reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. King it seems like a lot of fighting and death will be between that. Let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. I'll give you some warning. Beware the Korak, and don't give them all stuff back. Demoron. Seriously? Do you, have, you, have you learned nothing? Oh, I'm carrying too much. That's fine, too. Because we'll be able to get rid of that. Well, wow, mine. Okay, yeah. Let's go back to I have three pickaxes. Let's drop those. Um, oh, I don't have freaking Feindall. Okay. That's not really a problem. What can we do? Why do I have this Falmer sword? That's that's just silly. Okay, let's. What else? What else can we get rid of, my friends? Oh, because we have all this extra stuff too. And this is all light armor. Um, let's see if any of it's actually better. Um, for example, I'm gonna drop these foot wraps. That's a pound, and this tunic. Let's equip all of our regular stuff. So we are fine there. Let's see what else we have. What do we get? We got the armor of the old gods. It is 38 armor. Destruction spells cost 15% less. 38. Ah, you know what? I mean, for what we do in the armor difference, we're going to use it only because it's 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 better that way. Eventually, it will be replaced and disenchanted, but right now, that's really not the time. Only because, I mean, that's how much better it is. At least to me. That's, that's what I'm doing. Um... These boots sneaking is twenty percent better. Boots of major stamina. We're gonna keep the stamina. I feel like our sneaking is, is as good as it is. Um, we really don't need more um, gauntlets. I believe that'd be the bracers, magicka. Yeah, another another one is not really a contest. We're gonna go with these, even though they're not they're not strong. Um, let's. What else? The helmet. Helmet of the old gods. Increased magicka by thirty points. Twenty. And yeah, so we're we're decked out in some tire that we wouldn't really be want to get caught wearing but let's see um and we are going to keep the old thing so i am actually going to drop so since we're over encumbered at this moment um actually i'm going to use this potion since Feindall should be right out here so i really don't need to make it outside um so there we go and i'm actually going to instantly betray our fake comrade here because he thinks he's just the coolest guy for just making it out. Like, he really could have done it without us. I don't, I'm not really sure that he could have. But... Maybe we can make it in time. Here we go! Do we really want to do this fight? We do not want to do this fight out here. So let's, let's go outside. That was a terrible, terrible idea, the way that happened. Alright, well, this is about to get real violent in, uh... Whoa! Alright. We're going to use a bunch of stuff, only because we are in some... I, I, am I taking damage inside of this screen? Like, is that even possible? Did everyone else see that as well, that I got hit? <laughs> well, in here... <laughs> uh, I didn't know that was a thing, but... I found it to be pretty humorous. I am going to summon some of that. And I'm going to get this, uh, we're going to go with Firebolt on because we're going to try to conserve some. And I'm going to fall down. Oh, what a stupid way to be going out right now. Actually, we're good. Got some of that. We are going to try to not hit any of the yeah, we're going to try not to hit any of the guards, because I don't really want a bounty. I kind of just want to eliminate the Forsworn. They are just running through me like it's nothing, because it's so many of them and not that many of me. But let's use some of these cheese wheels, because they give so much back. And I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to try to... Really quickly. Alright then. 
bet you will, but you're not going to be able to tell anyone about it because you might enjoy it, but you are still going to die. All right, well, let's use some more cheese. And with using this cheese, we're not even going to need to give that stuff to Fane Doll since um, it's going to take our, our weight so much so, so far down. Let's get some poison in here. We may even have to bring out the paralysis at this rate. I'm also just going to use a potion of um, true shot. Since we're sh shooting people now. He's about to smack us in the face. That's cool though, we can take it. Then he missed. one of those and thankfully we have a lot of potions and we're going to be able to get rid of a bunch of them too so we're going to have a lot of extra weight we might even well never mind it's a little early to say that right. Break, I like your outfit though not enough not even a little bit goodbye you tried failed okay what's happening down here who are you are you guys prisoners oh you're upset with me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm no longer sorry. Attack court. Get him. Go back inside. You should have stayed in jail. You made mistakes. Is that it? Is it safe now? Where's Korok? I don't like that there's so much death and there's no Korok anywhere to be found. Because if he was on his knees and I foosed, I could have easily killed him too by f while foosing. Alright, well I'm going to start here and inspect. I will be right back. I'm going to inspect the dead and I'll, I'll show you guys what we find. Hopefully we can find some Kor uh, some Fane Dawn there too. Um, but I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. As you see here, Feindal did not make it. And if anyone in the video can see how he did go, please let me know down in the comments. This is a very sad day for our good buddy. He fought well. If you see here, he has an arrow right in the freaking brain. And he's dropped his shield. So, your fight is no more. You are done. You've done very well, um, but we will be replacing you, which means we actually will be um, we, we actually will be making we have a, we have one I think I think we may be done here. We may have one little thing left to do here, um, but we're actually going to head back to White Run prematurely. Um, I will be doing that off screen, taking care of all Feindal stuff. So as you see, he was wearing a bunch of stuff. So I'll take care of all of that off screen, and um, I'll also get a new follower and um, take care of the little things I have left to do here. I won't do that. I'll actually leave that here. I believe we only have. Well, we just have to bring that stuff. I'll do that before we go. Um, but I will need a moment. Actually, there's someone I can get here. So you can give me one moment. I'm going to take care of Feindal and get a new follower. And then um, I'll be back. Alright, guys. And we are back. We now have... Oh, my God. We have Vorstag. And he is a creeper. Look how close he is to us. Why? 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 Why are you so close? We ne we'll never sleep correctly again. He scared the living crap out of me. But um, we have Vorstag. Um... I guess uh, you'll have to wait to see what he looks like under that mask, but uh, that was a terrifying sight to see. Um, but, I mean, Feindal deserves so much better than a watery grave. He, and let's, let's take him somewhere where he truly belongs. I guess. I don't I don't know. Where, where do we take you, though? I have nowhere to bury you. I have nowhere to bury you, Feindal. Let's just give you a little... Uh, the least we can do is get rid of your remains, cremate you a little bit. So you'll you'll rest forever in here, and um, I guess I can say a few words. Feindal, you um, rarely stepped in front of me when I was shooting my bows. You you were consistent, and you all 
often asked me what I wanted you to carry, and I always appreciate that, and I don't think I'll ever stop appreciating you for your service. But um, that's my eulogy for you. Let's go talk to um, the one high-born piece of crap elf who uh, was at the castle looking for that, um, oh my goodness, my brain. He's looking for the amulet of Talos for the one guy. Your obligation to look like a douche. All right, I found this amulet in Augman's house. Ah, there we have it. This will be all I need to mm. have Augman take. Looks like she has way more urgent news. Thank you on behalf of myself and the Thormor for your assistance. Here, for your work. Okay. And uh, yeah, we don't care about you at all. You're terrible. So Lada and Aquas have had their first. God's help us. Yeah, God should help us. And uh, we. Oh no no that doesn't do us that does not do us justice. Let's get some bright light. Come on, let's go. Ooh, that's an ebony mace. That's nice. Okay. Being safe, I hope. Let's go. Um, let's say our final farewells to. Fane doll once again, because we will, after this we won't be seeing him again, and the streets are littered with the dead. Alright. Well, that's going to be an episode, guys. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please give it a like. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If there's anywhere that you would like me to go on the way back to White Run, please let me know down in the comments below. And any help uh, spreading the word of this channel, since it is new, would be greatly appreciated. In the next episode, we are going to start making our way back. We are going to check out any of the close areas that we have on our map. Um, I am not so sure that we are going to go and steal the, t uh, the um, statue of Debella, only because those Debella mages are pretty strong, and there's a bunch of them in there, and I'm not too confident if that we can just go in there and crush some heads and, and get out of there unscathed. Or, you know, we might lose our, our, our guy again, but we don't want that. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. This is Stone the Gamer signing off. Say goodbye, Korok. We are at level 17, almost at, almost halfway there. But we are decking out some really crazy stuff, looking really tribal right now. Um, but we're, we're making it, and, and you know, uh, like I said before, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you later. Bye now. Bye, Fane Dog.